Thank you very much, Marcus. Well, what should have been the last few minutes of their shift had some San Antonio police officers putting in a lot of work. They had to chase down and wrestle with a man who they say had threatened someone with a gun. Our Katrina Weber is in the area where it just ended. It's behind Rialto Movie Theater. It's not far from Fortin and Perrin Vidal. And Katrina, you say that police just left with the man in the back of a patrol car? Well, that's right. Up until about 10 minutes ago, we had about a half dozen police units here on the street. Now, they were also in the alley, and uh, that is where they caught up with the suspect. They say he was someone who tried to do someone else harm. Uh, it took quite a bit of work for them to take that man into custody. Police say that they had to taser him and also wrestle him to the ground because he was putting up a fight. That was after a bit of a car chase and a foot chase. Police say this started around 410 and Broadway. They say that man had threatened someone else with a gun. They saw him in a car. They tried to get him to pull over, but he took off on them. Police were behind him the whole time on Loop 410. And when they, when they say he reached speeds of about 100 miles per hour, they backed off. But soon after that, they got a report about a crash at 410 and Exchange Parkway. That is where they believe the suspect crashed out. A short time later, they did see him walking in the area again by the Rialto movie theater. And uh, that is where they caught up with him in that alley off of, uh, off of a street called Vicker Street. They say, again, that suspect did put up a fight. He was quite bloodied when they put him into the back of the patrol car and took him into custody. They say they also found some drugs on him as well as some cash. Reporting live on the Northeast side, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.